Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to see how to integrate Tasmota based device with the Node RAID. Let us see how to do it. So you can see in front of you the Node RAID website. I am going to provide the link in the description. Go through the information given on this website. So Node RAID is a programming tool for wiring together hardware devices, APIs and online services in new and interesting ways. So it provides a browser based editor with the help of that editor you can drag the nodes from the node palettes and you can create your flows by interconnecting the nodes and implementing the logic. With the node red you can create the dashboard for your IoT based projects. So this is a very useful tool and it is a very simple tool. So let us see how to install it and how to use it. Node RAID is based on Node.js. So in order to install the Node RAID onto your Ubuntu based system, you need to install first the Node.js. For installing Node.js, you need to run this command from the terminal. Type this command and run this command. I have already installed the Node.js and Node RAID onto my Ubuntu based PC. I am just showing you the procedure. Next command you need to run is this command. Copy it and run it from the terminal. So with this the Node.js installation will be completed. After installing Node.js you can install the Node RAID by using this command. Run this command from the terminal. So after installation of Node RAID onto your PC you can start the node raid by running the command node dash raid from the terminal press enter you can see node raid had started working copy this address paste it into your browser now you can see node raid editor is open in front of you. I have with me flow1 and flow2 available. So first of all let us go to flow2. This is the node palette you can see. And this is the editor window where you can place your nodes and wire them and build the logic. We will create some small project using this inject node and debug node. This is the inject node and this is the debug node. So if you double click on it. So here we have put the name as message and message payload is hello. Default timestamp is present over here like this. So I have modified it to the string and typed here uh, hello. Click here on done and this is our message payload node. See here output has been set as message payload. Click here on done. Click here on deploy. Now it is successfully deployed. Let us click over here in order to inject the message. Here we can see the output from the debug node. Click here on the inject node. So now you can see hello is available over here. This is another inject node. Double click on it. I have already entered some information over here in this format. So name as AD Techno, EMP code, address etc. So this is the message in the text format. We are going to convert that text information into the JSON format by using the JSON node. So I have connected the JSON node in between the inject node and the debug node. Inject the message by clicking over here. Now you can see here the data is presented in the JSON format. If you click here on the address you can see the properly arranged data is available here. So let us go to the flow one. We have used here MQTT nodes. This is the MQTT in node and this is the MQTT out node. If you drag it and bring it over here then 
you can place the node here on this editor window so I have already placed this MQTT out node over here and these are the MQTT in node with the MQTT out node you can publish the message and with the MQTT in node you can subscribe we have not done any configuration over here right now so that is why this mark is over present over here so let us click here on the MQTT out node click here on this server I have given the name as test pub click here and write the name of the broker I am going to use the broker test dot mosquito dot org put the tick in this checkbox for connecting this node automatically to the broker click here on the update just click here on done let us configure these nodes also we will define the topic afterwards just write the name of the broker over here now it is already updated same is the case with this also I have created one dashboard over here for taking the data from the Tasmota device dashboard can be installed by clicking over here and going to the manage palettes click here on the install and search node dash red dash dashboard you can install this node red dashboard I have already installed it so that is why it is showing installed so close this this is my dashboard now you can see I have used this switch over here and I have used this slider over here I have used this switch to put the LED on or off on the ESP32 board on which the Tasmota firmware is installed and with this uh, node we can vary the brightness and here we get the data from the Tasmota device and we do the filtering using the JSON filter and we have created two functions over here this is one function this is another function we will see in detail about this afterwards and after that I have used this text box called light to indicate the status of the light or the status of the LED and the audio output is also available about the status of the LED on the ESP32 board using this node we are getting the temperature information which is in the JSON format we have filtered this using the JSON node and uh, we have created one function to display the temperature on the dashboard let us see the structure of the dashboard so click over here and click here on the dashboard so two components are present one is sensor other is control click here to display the dashboard so now you can see the dashboard is in front of you you can see the brightness slider where you can vary the brightness of the LED on the SP32 board in the control section you can see switch which can be turned on or off here the temperature is displayed from the ESP32 board and here is the light status it will show whether light is on or off right now nothing is working so let us go back to the node red again so time has come for us to define the topics let us go to the Tasmota main menu so this is the Tasmota main menu I have already flashed the binary file into my ESP32 board so if you want to see how to set up the Tasmota on the ESP32 board then you can watch this video on, on my channel now you can see the temperature is displayed over here and LED is off now you can see here the temperature is displayed that is 57.8 degrees Celsius LED is in the off condition you can see on the ESP32 board that LED is off so toggle the status so now you can see the LED has been turned on so we will turn it off again let us see the configuration page click here on the configuration click here on the configure module here you can see I have set the GPI2 as PWM 
so we can vary the brightness of the LED which is present on the ESP32 board and which is connected to the GPIO2 so this is the configuration I have set you can save the configuration we will come out by clicking over here on the configuration we will see the configuration for the MQTT click here on configure MQTT so I have put the host or the broker name as test.mosquito.org I have used the port 1883 so I have kept the other setting as it is you can save this configuration I am going to click here on the configuration so configuration part is over so let us go to the main menu from here we will go to the console click here on the console again we will run the command that is power on we were interested in this topic that is stat tasmota power we will copy this come over here on the node red come to the switch click here on the switch so we will copy that topic over here so instead of stat we are going to make it as cmnd that is command now topic is set for this switch button here the payload is on or off we will copy this for setting the topic for brightness click over here and paste it over here so instead of power we are going to write here dimmer so with this we are going to vary the brightness of the LED on the ESP32 board so range will be 0 to 100 that is 0 to 100 percent click here on done so here we are interested in uh, knowing the status of the LED on the ESP32 board so for that purpose we will be copying the topic from the console so we are interested in this topic copy this topic click here on this node so you can enter the topic over here as stat tasmota result so click here on done so topic is set for this subscriber node we will set the topic for the other subscriber node so we will visit the console again so we will copy this topic click here on this node and paste that topic over here click here on done now everything is set now let us deploy this it is successfully deployed and you can see these nodes are connected to the broker you can see connected message has appeared over here let us see how it goes so we will go to the dashboard the LED on ESP32 board is turned off we will turn the LED on by clicking over here on this switch the switch is on so now you can see the status here is on and you would have heard this audio message that light is on so let us try to vary the brightness by varying this slider so now you can see the brightness has been set to 25% and you would have heard the audio message as well we will increase the brightness to 100% now now you can see brightness has become 100% and the same is available on the ESP32 board as well same so the LED on ESP32 board is glowing with full brightness now you here you can see the temperature is uh, appeared over here that is 56.7 percent so let us see the console of the Tasmota for this topic the message comes into this format so for that purpose we have used the JSON object over here so we can access the message.payload.power value directly and that value is given to the light so here the value of the power or the LED status is updated whether it is on or off you would have seen it on the dashboard here and here comes the audio out for this we have seen that the data contains the dimmer value as well when there is some value for the dimmer then 
we have written this if statement where this output goes to the audio and when the message payload dot power dot is on then the message which is given to audio is light is on and else the message given to audio is light is off next about this topic that is the tasmota sensor that is tele tasmota sensor so we will see the data from the console so this is the data see the data is in the text form and can be converted into the json format by using the json object so that is why we have used here json node we have put over here the function node so here is the code for the message which is coming from the tasmota so message payload is equal to message dot payload dot esp32 dot temperature this string i have inserted over here and this is the message payload dot temperature unit so that is why you can see the temperature over here like this hope you enjoyed the video in today's video we have seen how to integrate the tasmota device with the node red so that's it for today thanks for watching the video if you like this video then please hit the like button please do share this video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to this channel thanks again and have a good time